Well, the fact-checking website PolitiFact has named denial of what happened on January 6th its lie of the year. PolitiFact says it made this selection because of some Republican efforts to downplay the seriousness of the attack on the U.S. Capitol. WBZ's John Keller spoke with a top House leader from Massachusetts who was in the Capitol on January 6th and says he believes democracy is now at risk. The way they want to dismiss this, the way they say it doesn't matter, it does. Congressman Jim McGovern of Worcester was there when the rioters were clawing at the doors. As the year has gone by, we've heard people saying it wasn't what we saw, that it wasn't a direct attack on democracy. But that is all a lie. It and McGovern sees the airbrushing of January 6th as not just a lie about the past, but also groundwork for the future. I think their denial, their complicity, uh, makes it all the more likely that we will see another such attack. Uh, coups often don't succeed the first time, uh, but sometimes they succeed the second or third time. I, I want to make sure this never happens again. The House committee investigating the riot has already produced evidence of planning and potential White House complicity that is hard to shrug off. And it um, will be interesting to reveal all the uh, participants who were involved. And McGovern sees those comments by McConnell as a sign he's bracing for evidence to come out that will make denialism even harder. I think Mitch McConnell knows that more and more is going to be made public and it's not going to be pretty, uh, especially for those who continue to deny or try to downplay the events of January 6th. Republican stonewalling may be a lie, but it's also a bet on short voter attention spans. What's your level of confidence that the public won't just shrug this off in time? Yeah, um, I think we have an obligation. That's, that's why the uh, select committee on January 6th is so important. Now, we should say there are two Republicans on the committee. Uh, a lot of Trump supporters are calling foul, saying they think it's all politically motivated. But now, top Trump allies like Mark Meadows and Steve Bannon have been held in contempt because they refuse to testify. Mm -hmm. And the committee says they've conducted hundreds of interviews. So what can we expect now? Well, there's real pressure being put on key figures in the planning and execution of this riot to talk, Paula. And uh, Congressman McGovern noted there's at least one sitting member of the House who sent a text apologizing to the White House for not succeeding in denying the certification of Biden's election. So he or she may well be exposed. McGovern thinks the televised hearings they're planning for next year will expose the full details of what happened and have a real impact on next year's election. I'm a little more skeptical. We'll soon see if mm. he's right. We'll see how long people's memory might be once they see a televised and hearing. And their attention span, yeah. All right, John, thanks so much.